Hi, I'm Scott Nemec and I work for Rodin Schwartz and I'm an application engineer and I'm covering the automotive testing solutions today. So starting with our testing solutions, I want to first say that we have a spectrum analyzer that can cover all the way up to the 90 gigs range for the automotive frequencies for automotive radars. But the big thing today that we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about our new target generation solution. So our target generation solution, we actually have a digital target generation so we can digitally make targets that actually have different distances to them. They can actually have different sizes to them and they can actually look like they're doing it at different speeds so we have different Dopplers going back and forth. So we have a digital solution, it's the A-Rig 800. But on top of that, we actually have a new antenna and this is the highlight of today's show is that we have a new antenna front end for it. The antenna front end is a QAT 100 and it has an array of antennas in the front. So now when I'm generating those targets, instead of just making them go back and forth, make them look bigger, and then also make them look like they're moving faster, I can actually make them look like they're moving left to right without actually having to actually move my array. So instead of actually having to take this and physically move it left to right to make it look like a target, I can actually digitally do that today. So in my setup today, I have the array, I have the back end piece, and then I actually have two demo radars. Both these demo radars are actually displayed on the top screen. I have a development radar that's using the chipset. Then I actually have a functioning radar that's a universal radar that's already been used as a module. So on this module radar, I actually have a target sitting up on the screen. And if you look at the distance grade, it's up at 50, at 50 meters. If you look at the angle, it's sitting around zero degrees. That is coming off here. So it makes it look like there is a target at 50 meters out and at center at zero degrees on this instrument. Now, if I actually add some angle to it, we will see this angle measurement actually move over as I add angle to it. And if I take the angle away, I can add the angle to the reverse. So now I can go negative or left and right. So I'm physically moving the target left or right in the detection without physically moving the hardware. So that's the benefit of today's new array system. The secondary issue that we've also had when we're doing the measurements on these things is that the front end has a tendency to reflect too much power in your setup. With that reflection of power, our power level in our distance to power measurement will show that the close in targets have so much power we cannot measure those digital targets bay, way out at 50 meters. Well, to eliminate that, we actually have absorbers on the front that get rid of the extra powers. And then on top of that, when you're actually having a development setup, we actually make a front end cowling that actually has absorbers inside of it that start with a large side that we can hook right to the front of the QAT and then we can have the small side hooked right to the front of our radar. That way we eliminate all the surrounding data that causes conflicts. Those conflicts, like if you're looking at this one, there's actually noise ste stepping up on the side or if you're looking at this one, there's no noise on the side. This one here is filtering it out. This one's seeing the raw setup. So today having this, with this on here, I can now have moving targets left to right I can get rid of the noise that's caused down there, and I can have a, a digital system in the back end. On top of that, if you start with this today, this is a scalable system. So this guy can, can actually control eight of these guys. So now if you want to go from testing just your one radar, you want to test the whole car, you can take eight of these guys and surround them around the front of the car and, all, and measure all of them and generate targets for all of them off one A-Rig system. And if you want to do a more accurate measurement for just calibration, this guy also pairs in with our chamber that we have. So we actually have a reflective chamber that has a compact range using a reflective dish at the top. And that way we can use this guy inside a chamber and do development at the development level. And then we can use this guy and we can go all the way up to the car level. So now we have a solution that's scalable all the way from one spot to a full vehicle in the loop solution. So this is Scott Nemec. And uh, to find out more information, please go to www.rody-schwartz.com.